Welcome to our new videocast. Let's talk wireless IoT. The videocast is powered by RFID and Wireless IoT Tomorrow 2021 and will feature exhibitors, sponsors and speakers of the event. You want to meet the RFID and Wireless IoT experts live? No problem. Make sure to get a ticket and join the live event RFID and Wireless IoT Tomorrow 2021 in the RMCC in Wiesbaden, Germany. Or join the simultaneous virtual event that will contain live streams from the conference on site and numerous speakers as well as webinars, roundtables and of course easy to use communication systems. But for now, let's focus on the guests. See you in Wiesbaden. So today I'm more than proud to welcome Mr. Buhan Gündüz and Mr. Johannes Weil, both from Elatec. And we will be hearing more about those um, two guests personally, so more information from Elatec itself and of course what visitors can be expect from Elatec on site at the event and virtually of course. So don't waste any let's don't waste any time and Welcome our two guests. Yes. Hello, yes. Hello. How are you doing today? Good. Thank you. You're great. So we're ready. We're ready. We're ready. That's the perfect energy. And I already heard you're both located in our your main office of Elatec today, correct? That's correct. Yes. We're in Puchheim. In Puchheim, right. Okay, so let's don't waste any time and start off. And my first question for the both of you would be, will you both be all also on site at the event? Yes. All right. We're going to be there. All right. So everybody who is um, watching us now, um, both can be visited on site. And I'm sure that a lot of people are looking for personal interactions again. And yeah, Mr. Bohan Gündüz and Mr. Johannes Weil can both be found at the booth of Elatec. All right, so let's hear more about you. My second question would be, what are your personal roles at Elatec and how long have you already been with the company? Should I start? Go on. Okay, hello everybody. My name is Bohan Gündüz. Um, I'm responsible for secure printing and single sign on application at Elatec since over eight years now with Elatec, and um, I'm always also involved in enterprise and end user projects. So um, it's great to be here and go hand over to Johannes. My name is Johannes Weil. I am responsible for the industry part here in Elatec. I'm the head of since uh, four months now, so I'm uh, still fresh. Uh, same for me, I'm very happy to be with the team now and uh, to look forward to all the challenges that are uh, up and uh, yeah, glad to be here today too. Perfect. So we basically have um, the two opposites. We, uh, Bohan is already part of Elatec for eight years, and Johannes, you are um, pretty fresh, fresh at as you said, uh, four months. So perfectly. Okay. Um, my. Uh, third question today would all be already be something that a lot of um, viewers are especially interested in and that would be um, all kind of projects and solutions Elatec is uh, part of but before we get um, to the questions about the projects directly I have a question how it is organized at Elatec and um, so my question would be is Elatec directly involved in products or is it mainly via partners well, you can say that uh, related to the projects, uh, we function as an enabler. And um, with our expertise, uh, when it comes to our readers, we are very happy to guide also to such uh, projects together with our partners. So um, from the start of the project itself until realization, uh, we do consult and um, we try to involve everybody, all the uh, parties that are actually in that project. So uh, by communicating with each other to uh, all the different parties that are involved, we can actually generate um, a successful story in the end. Okay. Bohan, I see you're happy with this answer. Um, I fully agree with that. Okay. So you're basically connecting everybody. So you make sure that you have a successful um, solution at the end and therefore um, you are in contact with partners as well as directly involved. 
Okay. Absolutely. I see. Just one small um, information for everybody. Um, who is joining or seeing us today um, if you have our questions today will only be focusing on the basic information to get more information about the elatech about elatech insights about how projects are managed and so on please make sure to stop at the booth of elatech booth number 25 and get in contact with johannes weil and bohan gundes personally both of them um, can definitely show you more information Okay, so let's focus on the next question. Which pro projects are you currently involved in? Without naming any specific, could you perhaps describe an application or solution? Should I start? Yeah, you can go. Um, let me give you um, a little bit um, about my area. So um, as you know, I'm for secure printing application. And so in secure printing application with all enterprise projects, I'm also involved in the end user together with my partners. So, um, one a special requirement was that um, one enterprise um, account asked our partner, hey, how can we set up um, the readers that are embedded to the machines remotely? He said, hey, no issue. We can um, provide you a tool where you can update and configure our card readers through the network. And this was so cool. And um, now it's also more mandatory that the people ask for that because due to Corona, it's better that you can remote and um, work from outside to set up a machine or the card reader. It was really helpful. And this was um, one um, good example. And we used this as a case and also adapt also to other print OMs and solution providers. So at the moment, with all print OMs, we started to provide this functionality. And we are really glad to have this possibility that we also can update our readers remotely. Yeah, really nice. This is really cool. I uh, also agree completely on that. So uh, you have well, to. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what Juan just said, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's related always to a specific industry, also how you move and how you actually transfer your knowledge and your expertise into the markets. And um, I said before, I joined the company about four months ago. So um, there's things that are quite new now also. And uh, when it comes to new stuff, also here in Alatech, we can say that we are actually focusing extremely on the market of e charging business at the moment. We all know that this is a driver at the moment. Everybody's looking at it. Uh, when we look at the numbers, when we look at the uh, automotive industry, we can see that EV uh, cars and the charging, of course, and the infrastructure is uh, a major focus at the moment. Mm -hmm. So we do that too. And um, I said before that uh, due to the communication, how we handle business between us and our partners and the customers, we try to be as close as possible. And um, also in this case here, we can see that this has been done very successful in the past. Because, uh, because of that, we were able to actually find the right product for this market uh, when it comes to EV charging. So uh, again, Elantec uh, is an enabler, is a provider of perfect technology, uh, but we are also a perfect communicator. So uh, this is what we're really proud of. Yes. <laughs> All right. Yeah, very important point. The successful communication is, of course, key for a successful um, um, project. So I'm sure that, um, yeah, if you are looking for a new project partner, that Elatech is definitely um, a good choice, especially when it comes to um, the offered quality of the product and solution itself, but as well as the communication. Very important point. Yeah, thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah, well, well yeah, unique selling point what you said, quality of our product, great. <laughs> yeah, so, so we are in contact also for for a long time now. I I can still remember the the last time both of us met in person, and it was at the RFIT and Wireless IoT Tomorrow 2019. Um, we met. Uh, I I can still remember um, we met at the evening event um, after exhibition day one. Yeah, this is a special part from the YOT, which I really also, that's the reason why Johannes came now with me. I said, hey, the booth is great for networking and um, change ideas and, and the knowledge. Also, these are, these are market player, other market player, but you have one platform to meet them, also in the evening, talk with them, 
And, um, and this, I like this kind of events where you see also the competition, but in the evening, we are all humans and people. And then uh, this, great. And thank you, Niklas and um, Anja, of course, um, that you offer this possibility, not only to make uh, a booth also in the evening. And this is very great. Thank you. Yeah, we're really looking forward to that. Yeah. Physical has been lost in the last time. So we're really looking forward to that. Uh, absolutely. And we come to that in a second. I just have to make an, um, uh, a comment on what you just said, uh, Bohan. I absolutely agree. I enjoyed these um, these evening events as well, because you were not uh, standing at the booth. So that is a specific position um, to begin with. Um, but you were just um, maybe enjoying a wine or a beer together with someone. And it was an um, absolutely interesting com uh, conversations. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it will not be possible this year to have the same uh, event that we used to have, but we will try all what we can to offer um, as much communication and networking, of course, as possible. And if we can, we will also re react on a short term. Um, yeah, but I absolutely can agree. And after, uh, so in the uh, looking back now, it's of course, yeah, kind of uh, funny and disturbing as well, because the last time we met in 2019, I think nobody could expect what happened afterwards but i'm absolutely glad that we are able to meet again in a safe environment this year 2021 um so yeah i'm definitely looking forward to it yeah. okay so let's come to the next question um and now we are getting into projects more specifically which projects are you currently in, oh no, we already had that question. Which projects do you find personally most challenging? I mean, um, yeah, each project uh, has its own specifics, as we said before. So there is differences and uh, challenges in every single project that we actually do. Um, we all know that from all the interest, industries that we come from, uh, nothing is the same. Unfortunately, sometimes, but most of the time, we're happy about it because uh, there's a change. So um, due to our experience and flexibility, uh, and you mentioned it before, the communication that we drive inside LRTEC, um, we manage to involve all parties which are engaged. And uh, this is how we, again, work as the perfect enabler uh, when it comes to our leaders. So I cannot tell you uh, in specific, which personally is the most challenging project, but uh, take it as all of them. And I have to um, add, um, as you came to our company, um, Johannes, you see also um, the market change or due to Corona, uh, the world change, but we are flexible. Our products are flexible. So we, and this is um, why I Alatex so like, because uh, it's getting not boring. So we get a challenge, we find a solution and with our products together with the partners or the end user. Yeah, right. I mean, also when you look at the experience that Elatech has now, we are talking about more than 30 years of uh, experience in RFID and uh, all what has been reached in the past, we now do also profit from, of course. And um, what I really like and want to tell you here once more is that there is no stopping. So um, it goes forward. Um, our R&D is doing a great job when it comes to new projects, new products that needs to be involved and evolved. And um, this is something where Elatec uh, surely takes a major role and uh, yeah, shows that we're number one. That was a good one. <laughs> All right. So yeah, like you said, the industry, the involved technologies are of course developing developing over time um the technologies we talked about maybe 10 years ago are today completely different way more um way more flexible um so i can absolutely understand that it's um, that it's a content flow of implementing new technologies see what are up to date information are out there that can be used for projects um absolutely clear for me that 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 is just a flowing process. Niklas, one good thing what you said now, um, the technologies are changing. 
in the beginning of Alatech and uh, or before that, I know 20 years in the FID business. So it was great to see that not only the um, transponder changed. So that means we don't need only a transponder card. We can use it with a smartphone yeah. um, or with, with your wristband, with your smartwatch, and so on. And this is what I really see is the future. Bring your own device, use your mobile phone, and this will be your ID. And um, now this will give you now an outlook, a trend, which Airlatic um, also working on, on, not only to support the readers for batch, LPD, glass text, NFC rings, also for the smartphone. Yeah, we go with the flow. <laughs> Yes, so a smartphone is definitely a device that everybody has and everybody has in close range. So it makes definitely sense to um, to use it. Why not make it an even more smart device than it is already? Um, oh, yeah. I have to note it. <laughs> so one thing you said, um, so not only the technology, but that is maybe just my impression, not only the technologies itself all developing but also how they are combined so people are seeing well we can use this but we also need maybe some new technology for for tracking or measuring something maybe heat maybe pressure whatever and they start to combine it even more and so the solution that can be offered getting more accurate um, every year so uh, make sure to stop by at the booth of Elatech and see what is possible even today for a world of tomorrow um, and get the latest information all right thanks for your insights so far so let's jump to our already final part and that is the most interesting one for everybody who is watching us now um, and let me start with the first question already. What does the participation at the Tomorrow 2021 mean for your company and for you personally? Yeah, um, what we see is a great opportunity for networking, change ideas, what I also mentioned before. And um, this is really um, good for us because also to get from the field, because um, it's better from the people who are around if they came specific for FID stuff for technology for authentication stuff and it's good to have them face to face on our booth and this is what i um i'm grateful that i'm super excited for that yeah i can agree on that i mean we spoke about it before and i mentioned it too it's about having the physical contact again um, everything that has been supplied in the in the past when it comes to uh, video calls, video meetings, this is all tools which uh, I personally also really do appreciate. Mm. But uh, coming from sales, we know how important it is to touch, to see, to talk uh, really physically. And this is something uh, that we missed and uh, what we are really looking forward to have again. And uh, yeah, personally, I really must say that this is a great opportunity for me, of course, too, after four months now being with the company, finally get out there and uh, have the possibility to have contact and be in touch. So um, thank you uh, for providing also this opportunity. Of course, and we are more than grateful to um, to welcome Elatech as not only an exhibitor, but also as a sponsor of this event. More than happy to have you. And I couldn't agree more that um, we. Uh, I was absolutely curious um, also here with our team about all the new um, new functions that came up also in 2020 virtually. Absolutely interesting um, technologies, interesting platforms, new opportunities. But in the end, it is we still need a personal interaction to see someone, to see his impressions on his face even more clearer, to see his whole body language. Um, I couldn't, I couldn't agree more. That is still an, an absolutely important part of meeting, connecting, and of course, establishing trust. What we every time together say is one thing. People buy from people. That is Absolutely. Absolutely. So more than great that um, we can welcome you this year. And that drives me also to my second question regarding the event. Um, what products and solutions will you and your team be presenting at the exhibition? 
Um, when it comes to the products that we are going to present, um, related to the industry itself, uh, we will present uh, in specific one of our OEM readers, which can be used in a wide variety of applications and uh, that meet specific requirements. So, um, as Duan mentioned before, uh, Elapec is coming from the hardware and uh, we are close to our OEM, we are close to our partners in that case, so we provide a solution that then uh, is established, of course, and finalized by our partners and uh, customers. So, from the OEM point of view, we are really glad to present uh, specific products in that case. Oh. And um, that, um, to adapt that also, to add on, as you said, hardware, and also we come to the point regarding the software. Everyone knows us from the market. We can also make customized firmware. And um, what I really um, um, like that um, the people came also to us and um, asked us one um, important thing: what does it mean a transponder? And most of the people doesn't um, ask because they say, oh, "Okay, I'm on the LPD bus. I cannot ask that." Ask us also the basics. We will explain that. And we have also the showcase. Um, we have the tech tracer, I guess, um, with us. So the visitor can also analyze his badge. And um, so we are really welcome to see the people come to our booth. And then let's talk. Yeah, be live on stage with us. Uh, I just want to add that we also have the possibility to have a slot also during the uh, exhibition. So we will also be uh, presenting some use cases when we are with you in, in Wiesbaden. And um, this is also something we're really looking forward to. But uh, yeah, we're excited to welcome all of you, whoever is watching us now. And uh, yeah, stop by. All right. So, uh, Burhan, just let me let me add some information to your point. Uh, of course, feel absolutely free to ask any kind of questions you have if you're visiting the booth of Elatech. Don't feel limited at all. I think open-minded accommodation is exactly what the Elatech team is looking for. There are no wrong questions. Um, uh, just let me point that out. And, and of course, you, Johannes, you mentioned an important point as well. Make sure to visit the lecture of Elatech. Elatech is part of the conference program that will be um, directly integrated in the exhibition itself. So um, join the Elatech team at the booth and just go uh, 50 meters um, north and you are basically automatically in the conference and can follow the lecture as well. All in one, all in just one new ticket. Um, yeah, make sure, sure to be there and don't miss any content of Elatech and of course stay um, um, stay focused on all kind of new information that we will release from via our uh, LinkedIn page or directly on our event page. And if you should have any questions in advance of the event, especially regarding Elatec or the event in general, feel free to contact us. I'm sure we can uh, provide information for nearly every question. And if we cannot, um, I'm sure um, we can forward them and the Elatec team can provide any information absolutely please challenge us yeah that's an important point yes okay so i think we got a good impression of what um, visitors can expect from the elatec team on site what kind of knowledge and products will be shown at the booth and of course that use cases will be presented in the lecture i think use cases are always one of the most interesting topics so great that we can expect up-to-date use cases from elatec and yeah make sure to stop by to come by and let's see what is possible perfect Okay, so Johannes and Bohan, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for this inside information. And I absolutely looking forward to welcome you personally on site at the RMCC in Wiesbaden in October. And yeah, to show you to show you the booth, to show you the new location, to show you the new stages we have and the new op options we offer. Um, yeah, I'm absolutely thrilled and looking forward to it. Also. Super excited. Same for us. Thank you, you very much. much. Thank you, Niklas. Bye. Bye bye. Thank you for watching the Let's Talk Wireless IoT session. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and stay up to date on the event website or on our LinkedIn page.
Hope to see you for the next Let's Talk Wireless IoT episode or in Wiesbaden.